Hi, welcome to third session of ISTQB foundation level exam sample questions. So I hope you enjoyed earlier two videos and in this another session we will go through five more questions that you can learn from and appear confidently in your STQB foundation level exam. So let's take first question. Which of the following is a major task of test planning? First option, determining the test approach, preparing test specifications, C, evaluating exit criteria and reporting, and final, measuring and analyzing results. In test planning, we go for test approach. We also check entry and exit. So option A looks closer. Now, do we check test specification and prepare them? Actually, that is not why we write test planning. Let's check option C. Here, evaluating exit criteria and reporting that is also closer and then option D measure and analyze result that is not why planning we do so B and D are not the answer so option A and C that says okay so first option A is determine the test approach and C says evaluate exit criteria and reporting so for planning phase our focus is on approach for tests and how they should be conducted so A looks closer, so the answer is A. So let's take another question. Which of the following statements is most often true? So A, source code inspection are often used in component testing. B, component testing such as for defects in program that are separately testable. C, component testing is important part of user acceptance testing. D, component testing aims to expose problems in interaction between software and hardware components. So let's go through each option one by one. Source code inspections are often used in component testing. So this doesn't look right. We are testing the components, not exactly white box test. So option A is out of the picture. Option B, component testing, search for defects in program that are separately testable. So this is true. So go on for next option. Component testing is important part of user acceptance testing. This is again not true. Option D, component testing aims to expose problems in the interaction between software and hardware components. Though it is true, however, component testing directly doesn't address interaction between software and hardware. It does expose the problem in between interaction. However, the configuration issues that happen between software and hardware are not part of component testing. So option B looks closer. Component testing searches for defect in program that are separately testable. So here the answer is B. Now, which of the following will not be detected by static analysis? So your options are parameter type mismatches, errors in requirement, undeclared variables, uncalled functions. So parameter type mismatch is not part of static analysis test. Also, let's check errors in requirements static analysis does check for errors in requirements then undeclared variables that's not static and final option uncalled functions this also doesn't cover by static analysis so our option here is again b so b is the answer so let's go ahead with next question which of the following test activities can be automated? Reviews and inspection, matrix gathering, test planning, test execution, data generation. So first option one, three, and four. Then one, two, and three. 
and then two four five and d is two three four so option a is one three and four one is reviews and inspection three is test planning and four is test execution so reviews and inspection cannot be automated and we have to use our human staff for most of the reviews and inspections so option a is not true also option b is not true because we already ruled out reviews and inspections so here we have option between c and d so let's filter that out c says two four five okay two four five and d says two three and four d says two three and four so the option where we see test planning it is going to be automated is not true so our option c that says matrix gathering test execution and data generation can be automated okay so the option is c what is the main purpose of master test plan so the purpose of master test plan is basically we are going to see how we are conducting the test so let's find out if any option matches closer a says to communicate how incidents will be managed so not true then b to communicate how testing will be performed again closer then c to produce a test schedule not at all true and d to produce a work breakdown structure so work breakdown structure may be closer to master test plan however we can see how testing will be performed is more closer answer so in between b and d our answer is b so the answer again is d so i hope you find this video series helpful these are our five questions for this sessions i hope you can comment on this video and let me know if you have any questions if you have found any errors or want improvement in video let me know thank you